What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Race. Now that we know that Addison is an, spoilers ahead, alien, we are a bit confused, and we know you are too. I mean, if she's an alien, what are her exact powers? Is her cousin also an alien? What will she use her powers for? So many questions, so many theories, and only one video. Make sure you watch till the end. For those of you not familiar, Zombies is one of the most successful Disney Channel musical franchise released after High School Musical and The Descendants. Directed by Paul and starring Milo Mannheim and Meg Donnelly, the story focuses on Addison, a character played by Meg Donnelly, a human cheerleader who falls in love with a football player and a zombie, Zed, played by Milo Mannheim. So here we are, almost two months after the Zombies 3 premiere, still not over the events in it and the fact that we just saw the last from Addison and Zed. Finally, we know the true identity of the female lead and we're glad to say that most of you are right. I knew Movie Race had a smart audience. You guys guessed it, Addison Roslyn Wells is an alien. After three films of anticipation, crazy theories, and believing she's a werewolf or a zombie, it was revealed that the female protagonist of Disney's Zombies franchise is a member of the new group of species that we meet in the third installment. She's also the captain of the cheer squad at Seabrook High, portrayed by Meg Donnelly. Addison is a kind-hearted person who wants to bring peace to Seabrook. She tries to make people understand that it doesn't matter that the zombies and the werewolves are different than humans. All that matters is that they accept each other and leave in harmony. Since this article discusses the ending of the final film of the franchise, you better expect some major spoilers. But that doesn't matter. I strongly believe that you've seen the film a couple of times by now. So in the third installment of the franchise, we're seeing a fan-favorite couple in their senior year. They have some big goals to achieve, but a strange arrival messes up their future. These species have come from outer space. Just as Addison is getting ready for a friendly competition and her boyfriend is trying to get into college, by which he'll open the doors for his fellow zombies and werewolves, the appearance of a UFO and a blue-haired alien whose home planet has been destroyed changes the course of the franchise. Addison tries to calm everyone by introducing herself to the aliens and they assure her that they have no plan to hurt anyone and they've come for the cheer off. But as you expected, there's a bigger background to it, and the big plot twist comes when Addison discovers that she's the granddaughter of one of the aliens who was sent to scout for a new planet. Her grandmother Angie had a different hair color, but after so many years on Earth, her hair turned white, which explains Addison's white hair. And then our protagonist realizes that she doesn't have the spark that is needed for her to use their powers. Somewhere in the middle of the film, Zed says you need to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Meanwhile, the aliens explain why they're there. You see, Addison's grandmother hid the map to their ideal planet Utopia, and the most precious thing in Seabrook. The aliens along with Addison think that Angie hid the coordinates to Utopia and the cheer trophy, meaning that Addison has to win the trophy now. As for her powers, Addison is trying to use them, but every time she touches Zed, he gets an electric shock, which makes it hard for them to touch each other. <laughs> Not now, I gotta focus. After some time, the aliens realize that Angie referred to her grandmother when she said she hid the map in the most precious thing in Seabrook. Yeah, the coordinates are hidden in Addison's DNA. This is where the film gets intense. In order for the aliens to go to Utopia, they need their leader with them. This means that Addison has to leave her life in Seabrook and go to Utopia with the other members of her group. Zed offers to go with the aliens, but they explain that he won't be able to survive the trip let alone live in Utopia. Thankfully, Addison explains to the aliens that maybe her grandmother wanted the aliens to stay in Seabrook as Seabrook is now a place where discrimination and prejudice don't exist. They return to Seabrook and our beloved alien is reunited with their friends and boyfriend on the day of graduation. But what happens with her powers? Did she learn how to control them? More importantly, how will she use them? Let's find out, shall we? During a scene in the film when Zed is having his interview for college, Addison's alien powers causes him to zombie 
out, which scares the interviewer before she decides to leave the place. The third film focuses mostly on the female protagonist and her true identity as she struggles to understand her powers. When the alien's ship is critically damaged, the werewolves offer their moonstone to help, and that's when Eliza says that they could filter the moonstone's energy through their Zed bands. Zed helps his girlfriend by offering to transfer the electricity, but since this is a really dangerous thing, he nearly faces death. In this scene, we can actually see just how powerful Addison is. The second film of the franchise indicated Addison being an alien, and fans believed in this theory for a long time. In the ending of Zombies 2, we see that it looks like a bright blue meteor strike down on Earth, and then Addison's alarm clock is flickering, which causes Addison's hair to glow. After such a major cliffhanger, fans are eager to find out what this means. We're sure we'll meet another group of species, but we weren't sure whether Addison is a werewolf or an alien, or as some fans suggested back then, a vampire. And now we finally know the answer to Addison's unique hair color. But now we know she's an alien, and we can't help but wonder about the werewolves and their purpose in the films. Were they there to introduce us in the first place? If the female protagonist is not their leader, who is it? While we're happy to discover more about Zed and his girlfriend, we were disappointed that the film left out some pretty significant characters, giving them less screen time. For those still wondering, Addison's hair was white all her life because her alien powers weren't activated yet. There's just this thing that keeps me wondering, shouldn't Bucky also be an alien since he and Addison are cousins? Is he on Addison's dad's side? What do you guys think? Interestingly enough, in Addison's Moonstone mystery, she's the only character who cannot be hypothesized by Vanna there, meaning that she really is the most powerful character in the franchise. Now, there are at least a couple of questions we still need an answer to. Disney can answer these questions in the potential Zombies 4. As for mentioned, the Zombies franchise is one of the most famous and successful Disney Channel franchises. The first film aired in 2018, followed by the sequel, Zombies 2, in 2020. The latest movie, which premiered on Disney Plus two months ago, begs for a continuation. So will there be another film? Disney has to make one, right? Sadly, the company is yet to even consider making another film. Last year, when the production of Zombies 3 was announced on D23.com, the official Disney fan website, Lauren, the vice president of original movies, Disney branded television, referred to Zombies 3 as the third and final installment in the franchise. After the enormous success of Zombies 2, we wanted to raise the stakes in the third and final installment, she said. But based on everything we previously said and the success of the third film, things could change. This franchise has great potential for continuation, and it's just a matter of time until Disney uses this potential. While the company is yet to announce anything regarding Zombies 4, the film is still a possibility. We do know that you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. No, seriously, maybe we'll see a spin-off. We'll see you in the next video.